Alright guys, so yesterday, Treyarch had their much-awaited community reveal for Black Ops 4 and we've seen three trailers, but most importantly, we've seen the most hyped up map to make a return in history of zombies. Mob of the Dead, also known as Blood of the Dead now, which we uh, we see our four premise characters in the trailer, but uh, I'm going to be running you guys through some theories and telling you everything we know so far about the new map, Blood of the Dead. So first, I'm going to show you uh, these two intros, and you guys will see what I'm talking about after I show you. Courtesy of the Warden's private collection. Boys in the laundry stashed the parts? Of course they fucking did. What the fuck? I killed him. You've been in the joint too long, Al. You've forgotten how to get shit done. <laughs> What the fuck? But I'm gonna break. I'm this ain't right. Something weird's going on here. You don't say, Weasel. Where are those screams coming from? Okay, so now that you've seen that, you see that the prison was clean once that Billy, Sal, Weasel, and Finn were all in there. It was clean, and then once they kill the warden, they go into the purgatory mode of Alcatraz Island, where there's fire, blood, candles and shit everywhere, the hellhounds on the wall. But what we do see for our characters, the Primus characters, they're also in the purgatory mode, which is kind of surprising or not really surprising from a gameplay aspect because you want to keep it similar but I don't see why they'd be in the purgatory mode obviously they're gonna be there to get the blood off the characters or something such as that but how did they get into the purgatory mode is what I want to know and um, yeah that's a really cool thing that I just noticed about that there so throughout the reveal our father um, Jason Blundell had a few tricks up his sleeve a few um jokes, teasers, whatever you want to call them, but when he turned around, people caught a glimpse of uh, the blood vials on his back. I don't think it was real blood, but you know, can't put anything past Jason Blondell. But um, that's just a cool little teaser that we've seen. That's obviously got something to do with the Mob of the Dead part of it, because it's called Blood of the Dead, and we know we're going there to collect the blood from the Invictus crew or the Mob crew and um, that was just a really cool teaser that he had there on him. So this could be just pure coincidence, or it might not be, but um, Richtofen and your boy Weasel are standing in the same spot on the poster, which is uh, kind of weird, but I don't know, it's just, I don't really know what it means, it just could be a cool little easter egg that they're both the leaders of their groups, but I'm not sure, it's just pretty cool. So this is a really, really, really important one. So if you look at Richtofen in this picture I'm about to put on the screen now, he has no blood in the vials, which he um, he had been carrying blood for the whole story since Origins, but he's not carrying it here. So that even means it's before Origins, or it's just not there. It's just he somehow got rid of it or lost it or something, which is kind of weird. Um, it could be after Revelations, could be before it, it could be before Origins, we don't know when it's set, so that's really weird that he doesn't have the blood in his vial, so, um, that was just a really cool thing, it was very surprising to see, it could be just a visual glitch, but I'm not sure guys, um, think of it what you will, and just comment down below what you think. Okay, so this one is really, really cool, um, so, the... There was an interview with Mr. Dalek JD and Jason Blundell. So uh, he told them that there is a 
old menu it says old storyline and there's a menu that says new storyline so this is and it's also been leaked that there's going to be two zombies maps per map pack so um it looks like we may be seeing two zombies maps per map pack from now on old crew which is primus and new crew which is the older dude and like the french guy and cunts on the ship and shit which is pretty cool and look i'm not complaining i want, I want two zombies maps per dlc Let's be real, one, two zombies maps per DLC. So, since we don't know what they're there for, um, we could see the Victus crew in the tunnels underground of mob, or we could be seeing the original mob of the dead crew, like, in the map somewhere, around the map. That could be part of the Easter egg, getting the blood from them, or it could be getting the blood from Victus, but we're not too sure about that yet. That's just a little thing that everyone's theorizing about and what they're there for. And um, yeah. So um, also, here's something that ties in. Uh, we have the quote that I'm going to put up now from the uh, Mob of the Dead original that Weasel says. Nikolai, 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 Nikolai! Why do I keep hearing that name? So Weasel says, Nikolai, Nikolai, Nikolai. Why do I keep hearing that name? Um, so we could finally get an answer to what this quote means now. They may see each other in the map, they could be in different dimensions or something, talking to each other, or universes, I mean, talking to each other, or they could just be in the map together at some point, and Nikolai and Arlen can have a fight, or they see each other, or something stupid like that. But that'd actually be very, very cool if we could see a crossover between those two characters. So guys, it's not actually a remaster, it is a remake of the map. Um, originally, they were going to make the whole island of Alcatraz playable, but there were memory restrictions on the Xbox 360, in which made them not able to do the whole map, so it is not the original. It is similar, but I believe that it will have a lot more areas and... Uh, just extra perks, extra box locations, extra guns, everything of that sort. There'll be just extra everything. The map will be a lot bigger, I believe. And um, it'll just play out differently to Move the Dead, mostly, in my opinion. So we had another quote from uh, your boy, Papa Blundell. Um, and he said, When you're dealing with time travel, nothing is certain you can go back and change something so they could be going back to do anything we don't know what that means yet we could theorize what it means but we won't know what it means till we complete the easter egg on october the 12th which you know zombie communities we focused man we're gonna finish that day one uh no one's gonna care about voyage of despair all right just, just calm down we all want to see premise um but if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll be trying to come out with more videos on Nine and Voyage of Despair, things you need to know before you get into the game, or things we already know about it. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Peace. Okay, last verse, I gotta make it count. Won't speak on my bank account. So many commas, I'd have to pause, and I can't afford to just waste the bars. Every day, boy, I thank the Lord. I got a lot of problems, but can have more. Wish I spoke to my dad more, or my jeweler less. I've been hungry like Budapest. Tell me who the best. Don't give a fuck, I just know I'm blessed. Love life, even though I'm stressed. This business, boy, I swear, test. Tell Def Jam if they don't cut the check. I send Chris to go cut their neck. 